the referee, Frank Gilmer. In this corner, from Chicago, wearing black trunks with white stripes, weighing 180 pounds, Bobby Satterfield. In this corner, from Cincinnati, Ohio, wearing white trunks with a black stripe, weighing 189 pounds, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Ezra Charles. Now for the referee's instructions to um, Bob Satterfield and Ezra Charles. He's already given you your detailed instructions. Keep punching fairly until I tell you to break. When I say break, stop punching and step back before you resume fighting. In case of a clean knockdown, the boxer that's knocked down must take an eight count. If you score the knockdown, go to the farthest corner of the ring and stay there till I wave you into fight again. Make it a good, clean fight. Shake hands now and come out fighting. As you know, about 18 months ago, we had a Satterfield fight here in Chicago. It lasted a minute and 41 seconds. Satterfield knocked down Clarence Henry with about the first blow thrown in the round and then Satterfield hit the deck three times and was out. All of that happened in one minute and 41 seconds of the first round. Bob now has uh, won his last four bouts over the KO route. He's had a total of 48 bouts, winning 33. He scored 25 knockouts. Charles with 96 fights and 85 wins. That's Charles in the white trunks outweighing Satterfield nine pounds. Both men can uh, really stiffen you with the left hook. Charles is the unanimous pick of all the boxing riders here tonight over Bob Satterfield, who is doing much more weaving and crouching than we have ever seen him do. This is round one of a scheduled ten rounder. A bout that means a great amount to both boys, particularly Charles, who is reputed to be in line for a championship shot at Rocky Marciano. First good left hook. Charles has lost his mouthpiece. He almost lost it. He was able to gulp it back in. Forty-five seconds in the round. back in his corner uh, showing tremendous punching prowess only an experienced man like Ezra Charles would have been able to weather that storm Bob has knocked out Murray Bennett 
Gene Brown, Bob Baker, and Ray Augustus in his last four. And you can see he doesn't like to kid around. He likes to get them over early. As he throws those uh, left hands, he leaves himself wide open for the return shot, but Charles was missing with the exception of the final right hand at the bell. corner of the former heavyweight champion of the world Ezra Charles that's Izzy Klein in there with him and uh, his co-manager Tom Tennis Charles in his uh, last outing knocked out Coley Wallace out in San Francisco and uh, before that though he had lost to Harold Johnson and to Nino Valdez that uh, win by Valdez catapulted him into the national fistic spotlight also Charles 32 years old Satterfield 30 here's round two 189 for Charles, 180 for Satterfield. Charles is in the white trunk. Satterfield has surprised all tonight with his right hand. Shot by just a slight march. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's not going to get up. Eight, nine. It's all over. Edgar Charles with one devastating left hook, knocking out Bob Satterfield after one minute of the second round. What a terrific blow that was after Satterfield had carried the fight to Charles and had won the first round and after missing that right hand lead Charles caught him with the left hand flush on the button remember ladies and gentlemen there will be another bout following this one so Ezra Charles trying to convince one and all that he's ready for another shot at Rocky Marciano knocks out Bob Satterfield in the second round, here is the official announcement. By a knockout in one minute of the second round, Ezra Charles! <laughs> 